Welcome to another episode of Damage Jim's Gun Info. Today I'm going to talk to you about vests. Jim, I went and got my gun. I got all the magazines and the ammunition and trying to carry that many magazines in my hand just isn't going to work. What can I get that'll allow me to carry magazines for my weapons? Or my AK-47, my AR-15, whatever you end up having out there. There are a lot of different options that are available to you as the user to carry your magazines to the range. Uh, they've got range bags, they've got regular backpacks, duffel bags, uh, plastic trash bags if you're willing to go that route. But there are always different vests that are available. Many of these are available through your local gun dealer or your uh, online gun stores to include. Uh, you can find some of these vests for airsoft use uh, on Amazon and other uh, online retailers. So for your drum magazines, oftentimes they're going to come with a bag that you can put the magazine drum in and it's adjustable so you can throw it over your shoulder. Those get pretty heavy and be bouncing around whenever you're uh, trying to move around very much. Here's a vest made by Condor. There's a lot of different manufacturers and everything out there. You may see them with their cross draw pistol or different magazine uh, size pouches and what have you. And this one, uh, is set up to have adjustable magazine pouches so you can put a lot of different style magazines in there This is full of AK magazines as an example. So you got your steel ones Without ribs you got your steel ones uh, With the ribs you've got your polymer pro mag ones So you've got a lot of these and it just slips on like a regular vest with fast X buckle So it doesn't put too much pressure on the, the zipper and you know, you just unzip it you throw it on and you can zip it right back up so it gives you a lot of options it's adjustable like I said the tabs are for you to put uh, the magazines and stuff like that in there over here uh, we also additionally have uh, different pouches and stuff like that you can put a pistol magazine pouch in there other different things compass uh, different things like that it's got molly webbing on the back, so you can put a camel back or something like that on there, and it's got straps where you can hook it up to a belt, uh, so you can uh, wear like a gun belt or something like that where it's all attached as one. It's got a pull handle here in the back, so if you're wearing it and get injured or something like that, somebody can grab it and pull you out of uh, wherever you end up having to be if you're down uh, injured. It's adjustable with straps in the back, so you can adjust it however big you are. Traditionally, in the world of uh, AK-47, we have these two vests right here. You have your three magazine pouch vest, and it's very, very, very basic. As you can look on the back, you can see that this is probably Chinese manufacture. So, uh, it allows you to carry three 30 round magazines and in here I've got loaded uh, 20 round bags or boxes of, uh, of ammunition. So a little wooden dowel toggle, open it up and you can push and you can get your ammunition out of the pouch there. Again, a little wooden dowel toggle, twist it off and then you can take your magazine out. Same thing with this one here. Okay, again, we like the clear magazines because we can see how much ammunition we've got. So this wears crisscross straps across the back. Head goes here, arms go there, and there's a strap that you can tie it across the back around your waist so it doesn't flop around. And you go over your winter coat, your short sleeve t-shirt, what have you. It's adjustable for size there. This one here, I call the double Russian magazine pouch because this one is set up to take six magazines which of course is going to increase the weight a great deal so you've got your pouches right here you can put your magazine in there over here you get another magazine and once you get that situated you can put both your magazines in there pull it over and you can put your toggle in so you get them in there put your toggle 
and there you go. Now you can carry six magazines and other accessories like an oiler, a cleaning kit, etc. And this also looks to be uh, probably Chinese manufacturer looking at the, uh, the markings on it. Again, that will hold six uh, AK-47 magazines. Now, if you're carrying AR magazines and stuff like that, Condor Outdoor makes a lot of really neat vests. Here's one I got a while back. This is something to play around with. It has crisscross straps in the back, padded shoulders, and has it to where you can actually take and put magazines in these pouches here. Now this is set up for at least uh, six magazines. You can put an additional magazine here if you like. Two pistols, put pistol in here or a flashlight. Uh, it's got adjustable here so you can, it'll flex with you as you go. You can put a map or something like that in there. It's got room in here so you can put additional things, uh, whatever you might be interested in throwing in there, uh, batteries, etc. So again, Fastex buckles and it goes in and out. So it's really easy to put on really, really quick. Uh, and you can carry a lot of magazines with it. Another vest for the AR user is this one here by Haley Strategic. Gives you the option to have straps where you can add additional things like a knife or IR marker, what have you. This one allows a bunch of different options and stuff. So what this one here is set up, it holds four AR-15 magazines. When you open this right here, uh, you can put additional first aid stuff in there, batteries for your flashlights, whatever. Uh, it's got an additional hemostatic bad bandage in there in case of a, uh, somebody gets shot, uh, they want to stop or badly uh, cut to stop bleeding. You also have your magazine pouches here for your you know, backup firearm. This is a chest rig, so this would be up on your chest. Um, easy for you to access. So you have two magazines for your backup firearm and you have your backup firearm here, which has a, a uh, liner that you can actually put inside to retain your gun. Like this one right here is a Glock 19. Then once you get these in here, it allows you to retain the firearm up at chest level. Okay. And here we've got a uh, IFAC. So you've got your scissors, you've got another hemostatic bandage, you've got a tourniquet so that you can end up stopping any uh, bleeding that you end up having. I have a uh, Delta Dart up here also. Um, you can do some sticky sticky with it. If somebody gets in too close, uh, you can pull it out real fast, stick stick and get whatever you need to get done, moved out. It keeps it nice and handy. Um, so again, it holds four uh, magazines on top of your pistol, two backup mags and some first aid stuff or whatever else you wanna put in. You can put in flashlights, uh, different things along those lines, extra batteries, what have you. And it just fits over the plate carrier that you may be wearing or just your regular old vest uh, or shirt that you end up wearing so that you can grab this immediately and go uh, and have four 30 round magazines and a backup handgun. So there's an option for you. Now, for you shotgun uh, shooters, but Jim, they don't make stuff for me for shotgun. Why they certainly do, my friend. So what they end up doing here, SOE Tactical Gear makes this. It's another vest uh, carrier. And what this allows you to do is to load shotgun shells into this vest for easy access in, in the event of an emergency. So what I'll show you here is these go into the vest. These are dummies like so. So once you get them all loaded up, each panel holds six shotgun shells. The great thing about this vest is with a large number of people, they have left-handed, right-handed versions. So if you're right-handed, I recommend this particular vest to load your shotgun. Because the neat thing about this vest 
is not only does it allow you to carry 24 shotgun shells, but it allows you to store backup rounds in there like so. So when you're loading your shotgun, you're taking these out. So just pull them out and you're putting them right into your shotgun. Take another one out, it goes right into your shotgun. Another one comes out, goes right into your shotgun. Another one comes out, right into your shotgun until you get those six loaded. Then what you can do is, while you're wearing this, then you pull this strap down and it opens this Velcro panel up and allows you to pull a backup six in and it just drapes over the front of the vest panel. And it gives you another six shells right here. It's the same thing with this one right here. Pull the tab, pull this one up, and it drops and it automatically sticks and gives you another six uh, shotgun shells right there. Over here, this allows you a big pouch if you wanted to carry a box of shotgun shells, uh, specialty, like this is cubic shot uh, shells and stuff like that. Um, things like that, extra flashlight, first aid kit, whatever you end up wanting to put in there, it's totally up to you. But again, this is set up so it's just got shoulder straps and you just throw it over your shoulder and just wear it like you would a, uh, a rack vest. So just throw that over your shoulders and it's got the strap in the back goes across your waist so that you can keep everything secure so there's a lot of different vests and everything out there like i said you just end up having to look around and find out which one fits your particular style of uh of shooting or um your handedness so my recommendation is to go out and see what vests are out there now besides the vest there are different things like what we call tacos Tacos are great because what the taco does, it allows you to carry a variety and this fix on your molly pouch or your vest or your backpack. It's a dustable spring tension through the elasticity of these here. So what it will allow you to do, again, is to put whatever uh, magazine you want to put in there. And they're called tacos because they just kind of fold in half and you can put whatever magazine you want to put in these. Now they're a little bit of a pain to get in there, so you got to kind of wrangle it. But once you get it in there, you're going to pull your retention strap up top to keep it from bouncing out if you want to. Keeps it nice and secure, so it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so to get it off, you just pull that back and it drops the side. You can pull your magazine right out. This works great with 308 magazines for the AR-10. Uh, it takes AK magazines. It'll take regular AR-15 USGI magazines. These Magpul magazines right here, these are red tag marked for 300 blackout so you don't get them confused. You can carry an additional flashlight or you can actually put your pistol mag and everything in there. So you can carry a rifle mag and a pistol mag or a flashlight and it hooks to your belt. Okay, black right here is low profile, especially in low light. Uh, not gonna draw a hell of a lot of attention. You can wear it under a jacket. It gives you something like that if you wanted to do something along those lines. Uh, they come in all different types of colors, camouflage, etc. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of different pouches that are out there available. Some of them are Kydex, which is a kind of plastic that's form fit to that specific uh, magazine or uh, caliber weapon. So look out there and find out what you want to actually do, what weapon you have, what's going to fit your style and uh, get out there and get some stuff to carry your magazine so you can actually go out and enjoy shooting. So again, please end up hitting the subscribe button down below. This is Dammit Jim's Gun Info. Thanks again for watching this episode and we'll talk to you later.